What in the world? What's going on? What's going on? What was that? Captain's log. We're receiving an emergency SOS from Shitake Town. Looks like they're being attacked right now. So I need to go and make sure that they're okay. Need to neutralize the threat. Got the gift of fire ready to go. And on to Shitake Town. Let's go. All right, I've arrived. Let's go. That's what I want. Got the wrong weapon. And you too. I feel like I'm backed up against something here. I am. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so thankful I got shields. Let's go. Lay laps, get out of the way. Where's the other one? Don't tell me you're on the other side. There you are. Why are you hiding? All right. Threat neutralized. There's the other one. That should be all. No, there's one more. All right. Got it. Oh. I never look around my own place very often. Okay, that's that's open, that's running. We're open here too. All right, I know there is something happening as well. Settlement decision to make here. Construction opportunity, excellent. Hmm. Citizens have submitted blueprints for the development of both a new standard dwelling and a generator room. Data indicates 47% approval rating for standard dwelling and 45% approval of generator room. All right, so we'll have three population growth with uh, medium dwelling and productivity increases with utility module. I think we're doing well with productivity right now. I think we need to increase the population. So let's see where this is being constructed. A little walk around the perimeter here. I just find it strange that we've got this thing way out here. Huh. All right. Ah, there's the construction site. OK. 
Okay. Let's see what we need. Let's see, uh, pure ferrite. Excellent. All right. Now I need to return. There's another planet I want to visit. I'm very curious. All right, warping back to the Kamakura. All right, there is one more planet I want to discover in this system, or visit in this system, and it is Erskill. Before moving on. It's a, it's a radiated planet. The interesting thing is the red atmosphere. This is it. No water. Entering the atmosphere now, I am seeing some green patches. There is life down here. Hold on. color. How interesting. Let me just stop here, because this, this this rock formation is interesting. Oh, the color. How unusual. Launching drone. That's sulfur in there. Oh, very strange. All right. If that was uh, a timid creature. It's fine. Oh, they lapse. You interfere so much. What is that? It's a mineral. Ferrite dust and sodium contains dark matter. What an odd mineral. And you, you look like you're a predator. Always foraging, no. Looks can be deceiving. Looked like a predator, but is not. All right. Hmm, sure thing. Whatever you say, Laylaps. But frankly, Laylaps, you're not helping me very much. Uh, let's not land on you. Such weird things around here. Okay. Docile gamma weed. Are there any flying creatures? Yes. Any more species? Not seeing anything right now. That's a starship. All right, I'm calling up the information for this planet. There are it's one more flying creature and two underground. Hmm. Is it really what I want to do? Mm. 
Hmm. There we go. There's the other flying creature. Now, if I can find a cave... Let's get an aerial perspective. Launching drone. If I can find a large cave opening, that would be ideal. Not sure if that's a large cave opening, but on the other side of this thing. Oh, look at that trench. How interesting. More sulfur deposits. Okay, I will need to check on the other side of this mound. There appears to be what looks like a cave entrance. Can't be certain. Could just be another one of these uh, depressions. Is this a cave entrance? It is. I don't know if this is a very large cave. Ah. It does have size to it. Hmm. Oh. I just realized. Forgot to switch my I really need to make sure I'm using the correct multi-tool for the job. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm going to see any creatures down here. There's a good chance that I won't. In my experience, underground creatures are difficult to find. There's the other entrance. It does go deeper, though. What? Wait. Okay. That, that, the sound that that creature was making was somewhat disturbing. Aha. That's them. They're so small, I miss them. Okay then. Oh. Uh, training relics. not really that interested in grabbing them. I'm just going to go further into the cave, see if I can find the, the last life form. Unknown building. You can see the radioactive fog inside the cave, even. Glow. Alright, I am not seeing anything. That's the way I came. Keep going. This appears to be a very long cave system. Coming out into a larger opening. Ah! It's not cave any longer. I'm more likely to find the creature in inside the cave than above. Where could we be? Where could it be? OK, 
Okay, there's some just hopping around over there. But not what I want. Laylapse is over there. I'll just go back in here. Oh, that wind! Good. But no. I don't think I'm going to find it. I feel like my life support power has been. Lacking lately. I've been using it so quickly. Okay. I think that's about it. I think it's time to uh, get out of here. Time to move on. Back to the Kamakura. dark. It's actually kind of hard to see. So the next black hole system. I'll be curious to see what's there. Hmm. Alright, Commander, we are leaving again. to next. Is it possible to reach there? No, too far. There's something around here. Hmm. One of these. Too far. It appears we are going out too far. Aha. Another dissonance system. Uvalar Aeol. Three planets. All right, let's warp. Right, first contact, pirate controlled, activating planetary probe. Oh wow, Rehem Magam is an acrid planet. This one, Boyot 19, a viridescent planet that's also dissonant. Oh, Palos Inch is a hyperborean planet. Absolutely visiting this one. Boyot 19. It's too bad. It, it looks like a beautiful planet. It's just too bad that it's corrupted. Corruption of these beautiful planets. Just unfortunate. 
feel the dissonance. I'm so close to it, that's why. Look at this. Okay. I'm gonna go on the daytime side here. A lot of islands. Let's go here. Entering the atmosphere, everything has got the, the purple tinge. The actual color of this planet is just corrupted. Unfortunately. All right, let's land here. At least up close, you can see the actual color. Oh, but look at all the radiant shards we've got here. And that creature. Hmm, wise. Star Bramble. Fourteen species on this world. I am not going to search for them all. Is that... Okay. When I see ships flying overhead, I'm, I'm worried that they're going to try to attack. This is a pirate-controlled uh, system, though. Radiant shards, I will happily take. I think... yeah, that's more... Hello. Hmm. Boiling super storms. So we don't have uh, gravitational anomalies in this planet. Fine with that. All the gravitational law, gravitational anomalies, or gravitational storms are intriguing. Take that condensed carbon, please. Alright, not... Ooh. Atlantidium. Got a large patch up there. Where are you? Oxide elements. Alright. I've scanned you, but not you. There's a group of you, it looks like. Alright. Let's get these radiant shards. The more radiant shards I have, the better. There's a lot here. This is... This is main fuel for my ships. Ah. At least my, uh... My interceptors. Alright. There's one more. Is that it? Is that lentidium? It's okay. Perfect. Just 
Because these these worlds are so unusual. Watching drone. I mean, this used to be a beautiful world, right? No forests. This is mostly mushrooms. Wait a minute. You look predatory. No, you not. Corrupted drone over there. Alright. I think I got all the animals I can get on the surface. Just out of curiosity. Two more flying. Four underground, uh, underwater and one underground. Okay, we got to see what these storms are like. Hold on. Everything just seems to be going up. Oh, these are gravitational. What in the world? What's going on? What's going on? What was that? Launching drone. What is going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are these unusual orbs? They're too far away, I think, for the drone. Hold on. Wait a minute. Launching drone. There are those strange orbs again. What is going on? How odd. Oh. I almost don't know what to say about this. This is wild. I just want to experience this. So dark. So dark. What is that? Disappeared. Another one disappeared. Watching drone. It's night time now. As if I'm caught in this this small storm, but if I ah, if I go over here, yeah, it's it's the same. Oh 
all this is so wild. I could fly a long way with this storm. Just incredible. This one. Oh, just disappeared. You see what I'm seeing, Laylaps. Aha. Launching drone. I'm gonna get this one. What an odd... looking orb. What is going on here? the view. Just wild. I've said that so many times now. Okay, where's my ship? I'm getting myself completely turned around here. It's down here. Ah! Land before the storm clears. What an experience. I call it a boiling superstorm, but that's... That was gravitational. Wow. Let's go. kind of speechless about this. First time I was caught in a gravitational storm, I was I was fighting some dissonant sentinels. Look at that fleet. And those sentinels, they the, the gravitational storm actually made it easier to fight against them. All right. There's the black hole. Let's go. Go to another system now. I'm not staying here. Entering the event horizon now. Oh. Wonderful. With pirates. Let's go. Go. Come on. Gotcha.
Ah, don't get in my way. All right. Friend is best friend. Welcome to Gyoki with Gekrobilia. Ivagiriptum is large. Life form, who must be the captain of this freighter, looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. Well, may as well. That's a rather short, short sentinel class. I know you're probably going to offer me captaincy. They always do. Tired of this kind of life? Got my own ship anyways. It's probably better than this one. But I'm always curious to see the insides of these ships. See what other captains are doing. Hello. Captain Matug. Good to meet you. Matcha Triptum, friend. Your help saved many gek and much great profit. Small creature chatters excitedly and hops from one foot to the other. Gesturing wildly around the bridge, they point towards the control panel of their freighter. They seem to be suggesting that I take command. Well, let's look at what you have, because I'm it's a B class. Hmm. But no thank you. I do not plan on buying your ship, though. However, yeah, you know, I'll take some kind of payment for helping you. Thank you. Can I take a look at your ship? Just a quick look. Uh, you gonna took this color? Oh, it's a refiner room. You really have external corridors on your ship? Oh. Okay then. Well, it seems like you do some exocraft work on this ship. Oh, a stellar extractor core. What are you collecting? It doesn't appear you've got anything right now. Hmm. I do need to install those on my ship, though. Captain, it was a pleasure. I need to see what kind of system we're in. It's a binary. Icy planet down there. All right, come on, come in. Safe to come. Too close. All right. Coming in for a landing. Let's see what this system has. Oops. All right, activating planetary probe. Five planets, one moon. Oh, looks like very icy. BNS 51L7, lifeless planet. 
Mukele Gobo, Haimo planet, aggressive sentinels. Rodneak 4 is an Arctic planet with a moon, Lacitia H2, which is a planet of light. Oh. I need to see this. Finare Omega, the charred planet, and Erakupi 18 is an isotopic planet. The only one that I'm interested in is Lacity H2. I must see that. Planet of Light. <laughs> 